Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day wherever in the world you are. I am Glenn Knight, CEO and owner of Pedal Pushers. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to meet with me today. Pedal Pushers is a startup company that specializes in the sales of custom carbon fiber 3D printed bicycles. To date, this company has been funded solely by my personal funds and from the trading and selling of securities. In this presentation, I want to discuss the performance of our first three quarters of our operations and to cover our plans for expansion and improvement. This will also include a request for $2.5 million in funding. The intention of this funding is to expand operations and increase our company's profits and market presence, and to also to engage in improvements through research development programs, systems, manufacturing, and production development, as well as our human resource improvement initiatives. At Pedal Pushers, we want to push the boundaries of what is possible. We want to provide the best value for our customers through our customized carbon fiber bicycles. We aim to make the adventure of cycling accessible, personalized, and it truly instill a passion as, for cycling as an art and a science. Our mission statement reads, to instill and emblazon a spirit of adventure, passion, and respect for the environment. We do this by providing access to high quality, accessible, and personalizable cycling equipment that is ready to roll with you through any adventure, from the office to the mountains and everything in between. Our objectives are to act in, with integrity in everything we do, to treat everyone fairly and value diversity, to be accountable for our actions, to win as a team, to give back to the community, and to offer excellent customer service. We strive to lead the market with our offerings and provide value to our shareholders, customers, and employees. For our employees, we offer competitive compensation packages and have planned various amenities to increase worker safety and provide family medical support that will be available directly through the company. We have also dedicated ourselves to ensuring that our operations have a positive impact on the environment. We have invested in multiple research and development programs to improve our emissions and to ensure that chemicals and waste are safely and ethically handled. Additionally, we believe in engaging with the community. We aim to give back and invest in neighboring communities where our production and manufacturing operations are located. Our company currently has three target segments with generally two brands per segment. This gives us versatility to market diff to different price points and various user personas who may favor a particular set of features to fit their lifestyle and their riding goals. We offer, the, we offer the Commuter 2 as a premium recreational model. This model is a 14-speed bicycle fitted with lights, decals, standard disc brakes, carrying basket, a gel comfort seat, and the design for comfort and leisurely travel. This model is a great option for daily riding, commuting, and leisurely travel in general. In our mountain bike category, we offer the Colt 2 as a premium mountain bike option. This rugged bike is designed to withstand the demands of the trail and the forces of nature. This option features 14 speed gears, reflectors, tough tires, and everything that you need to immerse yourself in nature and the support needed for our adventure through the, through the wild. We also offer the Moonraker as a budget option for mountain bikes. It offers similar features to the Colt 2, but at a lower price point. In our speed category, we offer the Apollo and the Blur as our 14 and 16 speed options respectively. Both brands contain racing tires, precision brakes, and 24 gears. They're primed for speed and domination on the racetracks. Currently, Pedal Pushers commands 24% of the total market share for the industry. We've also generated over $1.2 million in, sa in sales revenue through the third quarter. To reach these sales levels, we continue to innovate our brand offerings. We listen to feedback from our customers and we reassessed our designs. We we're able to come back stronger in Q3 versus Q2 with offerings that align with our customers' needs and I think the results speak for themselves. Additionally, we revamped our marketing strategy. We find that our advertising was not as effective at generating interest or sales. We still have work to do here. But we're finding that we're trending positively going forward on, our, on improving our reach. We have further plans to improve on this with additional ads, social media outreach, search engine optimizations, and more. 
Moving into our past financial performance, Pedal Pushers has been a top performer in most categories. We've seen vigorous growth due to our aggressive innovation and our willingness to learn from our decisions in previous quarters. One decision that affected our growth was our decision to open another location in Rio de Janeiro in addition to a Bangalore location. This allowed us additional reach and allowed us to generate it and accommodate additional demand. This translated well into profits for us overall. Another financial decision that affected us was engaging in and applying recommendations from our marketing research to provide the features that customers require for each segment. This allowed us to better appeal to our customers and satisfy their needs across various market segments. We were also able to target various production inefficiencies and identify areas of improvement through research and development programs and system improvement programs. To analyze our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, starting with our, our strengths, we exhibited strong financial performance through the third quarter. We expect this to grow further as the quarters progress. We also command a large amount of market share in comparison to our competitors. Our primary weakness has been our marketing strategy. We made some missteps initially when our test markets. We didn't push as hard as we needed to with our advertising materials, and this resulted in us lagging behind our com competitors and creating an effective reach and engagement. But we are currently revamping our strategy and analyzing our competitors' strengths and weaknesses, so that way we can mimic and further implement additional changes to get us up to speed. Our biggest opportunity is our research and development. We have various research projects underway that we're very excited about, and we hope these will improve our product and increase the durability, and we also plan to include additional features and accessories to increase our customer satisfaction and provide them with further customization options. Our biggest threat is back to bike, our competition. They currently hold 30% of the market share and they perform exceptionally well in their marketing strategy. So their reach is a bit further than ours. Their brand is also priced at a favorable price point compared to other companies in the world market. But fear not, our prices are also favorable. Our price points are also favorable and we're currently revamping our marketing strategy. So I'm very confident that we will catch up and exceed them in the upcoming quarters. Let's go over our investment plan. Pedal Pushers has had a great first three quarters. We built a ton of momentum and there are huge opportunities for further expansion and additional growth. We're currently leaders in the 3D, carbon, 3D printed carbon fiber bicycle industry and we aim to dominate the market. We're seeking investor support for an additional $2.5 million in funding to help propel us further to accomplish these goals. Our plans for the additional funding include plans to revamp our marketing strategy and to facilitate further brand enhancement and to move our research and development programs along. Expanding and opening locations in Amsterdam and New York City will allow us to generate more sales revenue and expand our corporate presence worldwide. Opening additional stores will require additional headcount, so we will be hiring. We'll be adding additional staff as well to our existing stores to ensure we have adequate coverage, and this way we can appropriately support the anticipated increase in demand. We also want to comp review our compensation packages. We want to make sure compensation will be adjusted to ensure we're paying fair and equitable rates that are competitive and provide opportunities for our staff to live comfortably and to allow them the time off needed to recharge and to provide them with options to plan and save for the future. We also plan to invest in the well-being of our employees in the workplace and their families. We plan to offer daycare and healthcare clinical services, among other initiatives to promote the well-being of our employees and their families. We will also implement additional measures to improve our quality control. This will pay in dividends as we will be able to improve the quality, safety, and reliability overall of our products. This in turn will improve our reputation and increase customer satisfaction. We aim for our customers to have the utmost confidence in our products. Finally, we aim to improve our supplier relations. By forging and nurturing strong relationships with our suppliers, we aim to improve the lines of communication, increase overall efficiency, which should translate into additional profits and ideas for improvements and optimizations should increase our overall supply chain agility and these can be realized in profits as well.
marketing strategy is a major area that we need to improve to ensure that we reach and engage with as, with as many current, former, and potential customers, we plan to make our marketing ads more concise. Based on our marketing research and analyzing the advertising of our co competitors, we've observed that more concise ads garner more higher levels of engagement. We will also leverage the power of social media to improve our presence and appeal to customers in a channel that complements our magazine and news ads. We believe that this will lead to increased engagement and the, as the popularity of social media and social media advertising increases. We believe in constantly updating our brands to align with the trends that, and features that our customers desire. We will update our brands and plan to introduce a new recreational model called the Joyrider 2, which will be a redesigned model and a more modern version of one of our previously unreleased designs. We'll also continue to invest in research and development projects to ensure we can offer innovative and useful products to our customers. Currently, we have operations in Bangalore and more recently Rio de Janeiro. We plan to open locations in Amsterdam in Q4 and New York City in Q6. Additionally, we want to increase our staffing in stores and ensure we have a an adequate sales force in both existing and new stores. Our employees are some of our most valuable resources, so we're going to revamp our human resource strategy as well. As such, we aim to invest in their well-being as well as their fiscal interest. We plan to review and update our compensation plans for all roles in the company. We'll also update our medical coverage plans, vacation, and pension plans. These updates will improve the quality of life for employees and allow them opportunities to rest and recharge, as well as save and plan for the future. Based on feedback from our employees, we'll also begin offering opportunities for additional training for the staff. Cross-training will allow us to provide additional opportunities for employees to expand their skill sets and to give them opportunities to contribute to areas outside their immediate job category. Team building will increase camaraderie and allow employees to bond and build trust as they learn and work together. We want to further invest in our employees' quality of life by providing daycare benefits, fitness facilities, and a health clinic for our employees and their families to promote their well-being. As part of our manufacturing strategy, we plan to increase our production volume and expand our operations. We plan to invest in our ability to manufacture and to increase overall efficiency, minimize losses, and to reduce our cost of production quarter after quarter. We aim to efficiently produce an adequate amount of volume to supply our customers' demands with minimal loss. In Q3, after opening our Rio de Janeiro location, our production volume was 1,052. And by Q6, we expect to operate with a production volume of 3,400. We use the extra funding to increase our fixed capacity. We're currently operating at a fixed capacity of 2,048 by the end of Q3 and we anticipate, being, anticipate operating at a fixed capacity of 7,280 by the end of Q6. We plan to increase our operating capacity from 1,560 to 3,640 by the end of Q6. We aim to lower our percentage loss capacity due to production activity down to 31% by Q6 as well. Pedal Pushers has been making sound financial decisions so far, and this can be re realized in our, by analyzing our past financial performance. We have enough cash on hand, and there's no emergency loans that have been taken out to supplement our operations. We plan to further invest additional funds in the CDs, so that way we can capitalize on the interest that's accrued. We also plan to use equity sales to fund our operations further, as well as to leverage the additional capital investments in system in improvement and research and development programs to improve, improve, our, improve our efficiency, <laughs> reduce defects, and to create more reliable products, as well as optimizing our production processes, streamlining our processes, and reducing waste. All of these should, these should realize additional profits as we make things more efficient, and also will improve our waste management so that way we'll minimize losses from waste and other um, 
wasteful uh, processes. Upon the successful implementation of our proposed strategies, our expected benefits include increased brand recognition. We'll be recognized across the industry as not only a strong performer in the products we build, but also in the service we provide, the way we treat our employees, and the way we contribute to the community. Increased customer satisfaction. We can expect that our customer satisfaction will increase as we find ways to improve our product quality, accommodate their needs and demands, and produce enough units to meet those demands, as well as being able to open more storefronts, providing greater reach to our customers. Our production methods and research development programs will make customers proud to ride our bicycles. Improved worker morale and motivation. By providing updates to compensation, workers will feel satisfied to work for us. They'll be able to save for the future, as well as enjoy time off. With cross-training, they'll feel increased purpose and variety of their daily tasks and long-term career prospects. Improved production efficiency. By improving our production efficiency, we'll save money on wasted resources and we'll be able to ship a higher volume of our products faster and with less overhead. This will translate into additional savings and customer satisfaction as well as higher sales volumes since we can put our product in our customers' hands much faster. To close our presentation, I'd like to cover some actionable steps that a company will take over the next two quarters. We plan to act on our marketing and human resource strategy. For our marketing strategy, we plan to improve our ads based on analyzing our competitors, as well as based on our customers' needs for each market segment we target. We plan to make our ads more, more targeted and concise and to adjust how many ads we place and where we place them. This way we will leverage social media, we'll leverage internet ads, as well as search engine optimization. This will allow us to target a wider aud audience across the globe. For our human resource strategy, we will provide cross-training to our employees. This will allow employees to be more engaged and feel more purpose in their roles and provide additional support to backfill and substitute as needed. This will have an impact on our overall productivity and enrich our workforce, whether they stay with us or if they go somewhere else. We just want to make sure that they leave better than the way they came. We'll also provide team building activities to aid in our employees' motivation and provide them with additional opportunities to build trust, to be able to tackle the demands of the job together as a cohesive unit. This will allow them to build confidence in each other and themselves and morale and belief in our work's purpose. Now, this concludes our presentation of Pedal, pedal Pushers covered our past, current, and anticipated future performance and our tactical plans to achieve our goals. We strive to be leaders in the carbon fiber 3D printed bicycle industry and we intend to get there by adhering to our core values, by working hard, listening to our customers' needs, and having fun while doing it. So again, my name is Glenn Knight and please do not hesitate to reach out to me if you have any further questions, inquiries, or concerns. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.